what we're doing, okay? Just calling it like it is, just telling you flat out, bam, smack right in the face, here's what's going on, here's what the deal is. In our mission statement as a program, we have three things we talk about. The first one is we want to make sure our players graduate from here with meaningful degrees. So as a coaching staff, we are going to invest whatever time necessary to make sure that happens. Our coaches, our football coaches, after football meetings, they meet with us one-on-one -on -one in the meeting room and they emphasize how much our degree means to us. Like for instance, I'm taking business statistics. It's a tough you know, uh, course. I started it and I thought I needed more tutor in it and they gave me like three, three extra tutors. We are involved in our players' day-to-day -day lives. We're involved in their academics. I'm going to tell every parent, you know, I'm sitting in their home recruiting their son, I'm going to do everything necessary to make sure your son leaves here with a degree. Well, how can I say that and then go hand that job off to someone else and not really invest myself in that? So we're invested in that here as a coaching staff, and that's really, really important to us. And so that's number one in our mission statement. Number two, we're going to prepare our guys for life after football. Okay, so keep it real, this is Real Life Wednesday. We have a real topic to talk about today. This stuff is really, really important. It's important to me, to our staff, it should be important to you. So don't blow this off, okay? Two feet in the ground, sitting tall, I make an eye contact and be locked into this meeting, all right? This stuff is as important, more important than anything we talk about football-wise or anything else. When we have Real Life Wednesdays, it's not just some speaker that comes in. It's not a box to check. It's not a BS fluff just speech. It's something that we actually have to focus in and lock in. It's something real that can have a huge effect on, on our life. We are going to talk about sexual assault here and I want to thank the coaches for bringing me in because the reality is it would be much easier to ignore this, put your head in the sand and hope like hell that nothing breaks and nothing bad happens. When something bad happens, the whole program is tainted and some programs go down. Here's what I was thinking. I said, man, I'm going to do some coke with my friend today. And then tomorrow I'll go back to being who I used to be. Man, listen, I want you to know something, man. Listen, drugs don't work that way. Me making $110 million in my career. You guys also saw a few visits that I filed bankruptcy in 2010. So how do you make $110 million in filed bankruptcy? Well, Real Life Wednesday was just you have guys who've experienced some real life things like Anton Walker. He went to the NBA, made a lot, a lot of money. He got in debt with gambling and things like that. It's just learning from other guys, other people's experiences and their real life experiences. The one that stood out to me the most is Chris Heron. He was addicted to pills and to get off of the addiction of pills he started taking heroin. And then it's just this stair step of how his life goes down the drain. Real life once is, you know, it's definitely an experience trying to help us out, you know, trying to better us for our future ahead. You know, it's, it's a great program to have. You start making out you get a certain point. She says no. But then you go back to making out. You get a little further. She says no again. You go back to making out. Now you're having sex. Is that now rape? There were two no's and no yeses. Is that now rape? Difficult, isn't it? I want this program, I want our players treated like they're our own kids. If I ever drop my son off one day in a program, I'd want to know that someone was helping him with making good decisions that 18 to 22 year olds are faced with every single day. Very serious decisions with an enormous amount of responsibility. They go with those decisions that they need to be equipped for. So I'm telling you now, the gold standard for this issue is verbal consent. And no is no. Like, the slightest no is <laughs> no. Like, it's a no. It's like a no is a no. So he taught us the importance of how to recognize this stuff when we say it and approach it in a mature way. And as a parent, you talk to your kids about this stuff, or hopefully, well, we'd be remiss if all we did was talk about academics and football. There's more to life than just those two things. And so we call it Real Life Wednesday, so it's to help these guys in life. All right, see you guys. Not only have we had speakers about bad things that could happen, it's also the good that we can do. You're just not here to just to play football live your mark, make an impact on and off the field. 
that's what you're here for. When Madhu Williams came in, he talked to us about what we could do right now and if we did go into the NFL and made a lot of money, how much of an influence that we could have on the world at large, not just ourselves and not just the team. Being great members in the community, and that's what I'm going to talk about today. It was kind of nice to have a, a former Turk come back, and he's um, a good guy on and off the field. So it's just good to see a former Turk doing good things. Thank you for your time. As a millennial, you're assaulted every single day by loads of information that is biased. So when we get these, these speakers that come in, tell us real life stories that can affect us, that can affect everyone, and that can make us really better people. It's nice to know that, that um, our coaching staff cares enough to, to try to actually make us better people. Where's, uh, where's Brandon Moore at? Okay. I, I tell you what now, okay? You, you, you're the example right now of what the hell we're looking for in this team, okay? I'm just going to say it right there. You, you're competing and playing your ass off, okay? So we'll just use you as the example and just say, let's get more guys that way, because if we do, well, I tell you what, we'll have a hell of a season. Our last thing in our mission statement is then compete for championships. Bring it up, bring it up. We're going to put the ball down and go play football. Everything is live. Let's go. Oh, good, good, good. Coach Durkin is not, is not here to have an average team. Good funk! Nice job! We're not here to have an average team. We're not here to be mediocre. Nice job. Nice job, man. Perfect. Every day he, he focuses on competing, competing, competing. Go beat the guy. You ran right into him. Go win inside. Touchdown. Touchdown. I want to see guys competing their ass off. Let's take care of our teammates. Be smart, okay? We're competing in everything we do. I think that's one of the things that makes practice so much fun now because everything you do, you're competing, you're trying to win. Everything's win or loser, though, right? We're always competing. I think that compete for championship is a mentality that we ought to have. It may be in school, it may be in football, it doesn't matter. Like, having that sense of competition is going to take us far in life. Seven points, defense wins. 22-13, defense wins. It's very fun. It's a fun process to be a part of. And, you know, like I said, I wish I could go back and, you know, be a freshman again and, you know, really, you know, be a part of something great. We're in a very competitive division conference. We know that, but we're here to go compete for a championship. That, 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 we make no, no apologies for it. That's what we're here for. That's what we're going to do. Nice shot, man. You won the red zone. Now let's go win this goal line. How do you do that? You go recruit, you bring in quality student athletes, you bring quality people, quality students, quality athletes. They want to come in and compete for championships. The, the, the thing I like about it, we are competing. There were some times offense, you got the best of the defense, and there were some times defense, you got the best of the offense. And th that's how you get better, guys. You keep competing, iron sharpens iron. Just keep competing. I want to build our team around the mentality of guys that give great effort, guys that are tough, guys that are competitive, and guys that do things right. Those four qualities, that's the program that we're building, and that's how we'll compete for championships. Let's keep going. We got, we got a ways to go. Just keep getting better. Just keep believing it. Keep getting better. All right, man. Nice job. They get a break. Let's get it, man. One, two, three. Man.